Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here's my baby ducks, my white ducks sitting down there. She's got two little baby ducks. And I got a problem because I only got one chicken pen. And uh, she's sitting on these eggs and the other chicks want to get in her building. And uh, so I got to try to figure out how to get them in this cage that the camera's sitting on so the chicks can get in and out their pen. But if I don't do it this way, folks, the little baby ducklings will get out and run all over the country. If you got baby ducklings, folks, uh, you have to do this because they will get out and start running around as soon as they're born. And you'll lose your little baby ducklings, folks. Uh, because baby ducklings are a little bit different from chicks. When they get out, as soon as they're born, the mama takes them out, you know, after she gets all of her eggs hatched. And she takes them out and uh, lets them wander around and they go swimming, but we can't do that because the fence that we got our chicks in is, uh, the holes in it's too big and the little ducklings can get out of the fence. And then they get themselves in danger because uh, our Pyrenees winds up getting them. So I have to pretty much protect them, you know, from uh, getting out. So that's what I come out here for. I was gonna try to figure out a way to put them up, but I don't think I'm gonna get to because it looks like she's still sitting on some eggs. I don't know if she's going to be able to hatch them eggs that she's on or not, folks. Because these ducklings here are probably about, I'd say they're about two or three days old or so. And I don't hear any peeping coming from the other eggs that she's sitting on. So I don't know, maybe there's something I don't realize or something about the duck family. But, uh... Yeah, that's the situation, folks. She's still uh, sitting on them eggs, so the chicks are having to stay outside because we don't know if the chicks would bully the little baby ducks or not, and that, and that the little ducks would try to get out. So we're just doing everything we can to protect the baby ducks, folks. So that'll give me seven ducks now, because I, I had six. One got out of the fence and Saber got a hold of it. So now that I got these two little baby, baby ducklings, that gives me seven little ducks. And these are run, blue runner ducks, folks. The mama is a runner duck too. She's not a runner duck. She's a white and yellow. So she's just a, an original uh, runner duck. But she sat on some of my blue duck eggs and hatched them, and that's why she's got blue ducks, folks. But they're all the same kind of duck. They're just different colors. But uh, I just think these little baby ducks are so adorable, folks. Yeah, so far we just got the two of them right now. So I, I don't think Honey's gonna have, Honey's the my duck, big duck's name, the one that's being the mama. And uh, she's cute too. I like to hear her quack. She's got a little squeaky quack. But uh, I wanted to get in here and share this with y'all. I know you like looking at birds and stuff, you know, and I enjoy being around the little baby ducks. They're sweet as can be. And my chicks know something's going on too, folks. They're acting all strange and stuff. And when that little baby duck got out the other night, when I got home from church, uh, he was running along behind all the big chicks and stuff and the big ducks. And I thought that was so cute. Me and my husband said that probably would have made a good video. Y'all probably would have enjoyed that. Because, I mean, I was all over the place, folks, trying to catch them little ducks. But there they are, folks. See them, the little dark ones? 
They look black right now, but they're not. They're blue ducks, folks. But they're cute as buttons. I'm gonna name that one that got out the fence, I'm naming it Speedy. And I'm gonna name the other one Delilah because I believe that it's a little boy and a little girl because one's bigger than the other one. But yeah, they are so cute, folks. I held that one when I got him in the house and put him in the tub. It was crying because it was wanting its mama and we were all upset because we thought the Pyrenees was gonna wind up getting them and stuff. And uh, so we put the little duck in there to kind of let it calm down a little bit because it was stressed out too. But it's fine now, it's back with its mama doing good. And we're doing the best we can to take care of them and stuff, folks. And I think all the big chicks know that there's, uh, we got the little baby ducks and they're just kind of staring clear of them and stuff because they don't want to be bothered with a little baby duck as a chicken. But my other ducks don't mind them, you know. Uh, my male duck knows he's got two little children now, folks. And I think that is so cute. But I just wanted to share this with you folks. I think it's neat seeing nature like this and how it, you know, works. Uh, the best thing, that, the best way to raise a baby chick or a baby duck uh, is through the mama because she knows what to do with them. She teaches them how to eat and drink and, you know, um, she also puts oil on their skin so they can swim without drowning. And the mama knows best. She knows how to take care of her babies better than anybody else. But they are so adorable. Yeah, uh, me and my husband both are enjoying these little baby ducks. We think they're something else. Our, it's been a while since our other ducks has been little like this, so we haven't had no baby ducks for a long time, but we're enjoying them. They're precious. They're just as soft and fuzzy, folks. When you pick them up, they're like their, their hair's been washed in down or something, you know? That's how soft they are. But they're sweet little fellers and I love them. And I wanted to share them with you all because I know you'll enjoy that. I try to share all the interesting things with you folks because I enjoy you being on my YouTube channel. Um, and I enjoy chatting with you, you know, and getting to know you and stuff like that. But uh, I, I just wanted to tell you that. And what I feed them folks, is 20% chick, chick, baby chick feed. Not medicated, don't get no medicated feed, folks, because if your birds are not sick and they don't need to be medicated, don't feed them uh, medicated chick feed because uh, that can kill them because they're not sick and it will start causing them problems and stuff. So no, don't do that. And they're doing fine. I've got them a little drinker there sitting down below. I keep it filled up with water so they'll have water. And their building's all closed in. A draft can't get to them or anything. So they stay pretty warm. And if I have to, since it's gonna be down in the 40s tonight, I'll probably go ahead and click on their heater for a while and let them have some heat too, folks, because sometimes baby ducks need heat as well. And I keep my heater up safely where uh, it can't catch anything on fire. I've got it sitting on a steel table, uh, pointing away from stuff. So they do get heat and stuff. But they are so adorable.
and they did I, my little uh, trick that I used to keep them safe. It did work. It kept that little duck from getting back out again. And I'm so glad, folks. I worried about that little duck all night long. Well, thank you for joining my YouTube channel, folks. And I hope you like seeing the little baby ducks. And I hope you ain't no stranger and you keep coming in. Well, thank you, folks. You have a nice night. And you're awesome, folks. Bye.